Hey, what's going on everybody? Coach CWC coming at you with another exciting video. Today I'm bringing you the DJI Osmo Mobile Unboxing. Let's get into it with my handy dandy Italian toothpick knife. I'll list all the specs on the screen. Looks like we just got the user manual. Gel pack, do not eat. Carrying bag, it's not padded. Got a couple pockets in there. It's cool that they added it though. Got our charging cable. See that? That's unique. It's a USB to a 3.5 millimeter. And they warn on there do not plug in this to anything else because it's not supposed to take power. <laughs> Genius. Looks like we got our battery here. And this is the same battery that was used in the, um, not the mobile version, just the regular Osmo. Nice lanyard and the bell of the ball right here. So let's see what you get for 299 bucks. There's nothing else in that box. So here it is. So you've got your remote. Looks like you take a picture and tells it to record. Power on off. This is to change the uh, view on it. And I will fire it up and show you guys what it looks like. So let me show you how you put that in here. iPhone 7 Plus does fit in here. So on the back here you got these screws. So we're gonna loosen the screw up. Pop that in just like that and screw it in. You can see there that it lines up on those rubber areas. Let's see if we got kind of a good balance on it or not. Yep, so it's pretty close to balance as you can see. You want to just get it as close to balance as you can. We'll go ahead and turn the unit on. And we'll turn my phone on. Turn on the DJI Go app that you'll need for it. So what you want to do is go into settings, gimbal, auto calibration, start. Gimbal calibrated. So now some of the cool functions that you can do with it by using the trigger here is if I put the camera in any angle that I want, so let's get a subject or something to shoot here. So let's say I wanted to shoot this Huawei watch. What I can do is turn on my tracking by pressing this button here and then saying, okay, track this unit. So now wherever this unit goes, you can see that the camera will automatically track it. And you say exit, as you can see that it goes back. Now one of the other cool things is, is that you can keep the camera angle any way that you want by holding the trigger button. So if I hold this trigger and then I move the camera around, you can see that no matter what I do with my hand, it keeps the camera in the same angle. Of course, unless I get a little too crazy, but <laughs> flashlight mode, 
Now the other cool thing is with this remote right here on my th right here on my thumb pad, if I move that around, you can see that it actually moves the direction of the camera. Now, one of the useful things that I could see that someone would use, especially as a vlogger, is if I triple, if I triple click this trigger, it's going to change it from facing outward to a selfie. So now if I wanted, if I click the tracking button, I could track myself, and then wherever I go, it goes. <laughs> very cool and then you can just exit out right here triple click it takes you right back to your recording mode so you can do video you can do pictures you can do time-lapse um, this is pretty cool too so in your motion time-lapse what you can tell it is is uh, different settings like let's say I want to do my first motions here and then I want it to end facing over there so then I just tell it next I can set my time interval one second over 30 seconds and then I can tell it to start so I can set my camera angle I can have it do a nice time capture with motion so instead of spending thousands of dollars worth of equipment, you can do it right here. And then it's done. Record complete. And if you want, you can go in here and you can hit play and you can actually see what it did in that little time lapse. And that was it. So from start to finish. Now the other cool thing that they added with this newer firmware version is that you can share this out. So let's go over the settings. So you got your camera, where you take stills, and then it's got all of its different modes. Single panel, long exposure, which is really cool if you want to do night stuff or you know streaking lights, things like that. You can also go into your video mode, so you've got normal, slow motion, Time lapse and motion time lapse, front and back camera. Go back to home. Your camera, you can change your video resolution, and that, of course, depends on which phone you're using. Manual adjustment, if you want to do some manual adjustments, you can turn your grids on and off. If you want to do any type of C mode, so it tries to control if you're walking or if you're running, you can also lock that pitch which is convenient if you don't want it swinging around too much and your basic settings resolution panorama quality you can reset the camera gimbal controls how you want it to control the gimbal you can invert the controls so if you want the thumb to go if you point up to go down you know kinda like flight controls and then your different versions and up here you can see that the Bluetooth connection is on, how much battery life is left on the unit. Now one of the other cool features is you can also go live with this. So if you connect this to any of these different services, you can actually film this live. So another great thing with the um, vloggers, if you like to live YouTube your vlogs, you just click on this. It actually will connect, log into your YouTube, and go live once you're logged in, and it will start streaming this right from the phone. Very convenient. We're going to uh, test the recording on this. It's raining outside, of course, but it's a good thing I have an iPhone 7 Plus. So we don't have to worry about the rain. So I'm going to hold the trigger on this tree. I'm actually walking. Now what we're going to do is I will track the tree. I'm 
And now wherever I go, the tree will be tracked to keep that on target. Now I actually have the handle facing the sky, so it's upside down. And I can low track things. So now we're going to test the capabilities of, I'm walking right now and I've got tracking on my face. So wherever I move my arm, it tracks me. So I've just told it to track more of my face. So let's see how it works now. I guess tracking pretty good. That's awesome. So you could you could do your vlog though just like this, just by holding this camera, and it actually tracks the whole time you're doing it. This will be fantastic for you vloggers out there. Love it. Tell me what you guys think. This is me walking. So that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please hit that subscribe button. If you have any questions, leave them down below. I'll make sure to answer those. And I'll see you guys on the next video.